Hi, beautiful Geminis. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining me here, Gemini Energy. Thank you guys so much for your generosity to me, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. I do appreciate each and every one of them. Thank you for that. Gemini Energy, one more. Gemini. Archangel Michael provides protection and strength, faith and values. Your values are guiding principles. Use them to choose the way you live your life. Retreat. Seek and receive consolation from God to overcome a difficult experience. This is a time for reflection, solitude, and contemplation. Angel warriors, oversee your life and protect you. Let's see your fortunes, Gemini. Gemini's fortune. Gemini's fortune. Gemini. Gemini. Judgment. Soul searching will bring you inner peace. Goals. Progress is positive. Personal goals being achieved. Phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. A time for divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Gemini. Forgiveness. Gemini, self-discipline, adventure, health, individuality, independence, Gemini, Gemini, healing with Mother Nature, shielding, protecting, and grounding, opening to dreams and visions. This is you being told to invoke your guides, your gods, and your guardians. Angel warriors, you're being protected. Gemini, Gemini, love, you are attracting great love. But the greatest love of all is to love and forgive yourself. You're being protected. You could be feeling a lot of frustration, and it could be to do with health or having to set up healthy boundaries. Gemini. Gemini, options, confusion, or dreams and visions. Seeking adventure. There's been some painful situation here that you could be healing from.
conflict or fighting or arguing or competition. What is this? The sun. Growth. This is the lovers. So there could be some painful love experience here. Could be with a Leo. Or you taking your power, but there's some regret here. Time of reflection. <sighs> this is love. This is you invoking your guides, your gods, and your guardians. This is supreme love. This is God. You're invoking your guides, your gods, or your guardians. This is time of self-love. This is about truth and clarity decisiveness wisdom this is a tower this is a spiritual tower it's a time of a breakup or healing after a tower Somebody walking away or walking toward somebody blocking or holding on or holding back. Someone's lying here, being deceptive or strategizing. This is a sense of adventure. Somebody could have been out playing, cheating. having sexual options, a sense of adventure, like I want to explore and see what else is out there. Could have caused an ending. This is a deception. This is about love. This is about the world. Could have ended a cycle. Or this is an opportunity. A promise. This is fear. Or feeling trapped. Worry. Rejecting or feeling rejected. Something about travel or empowerment. Someone feels stuck. or is being rejected, fear of rejection, I'm not sure yet. This is stress, anxiety. Somebody juggling. Somebody worrying about commitment or 
troubling someone, bringing someone burdens. Heavy, working really heavily here. Time of unity, understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. This is the Empress. They didn't see that this was an Empress. They didn't know this was an Empress. <laughs> this is a King of Swords. Whoa, what? Somebody manipulating someone in the past or <sighs> hmm. getting the truth about a manipulation. They didn't know this was a star. This is a time of healing. Great understanding. Someone is angry. That someone is angry at the Empress who is healing. This is emotional manipulation. Someone very selfish or arrogant. Well, they made the decision here. Oh, well. the emperor collaborating with a friend who they may have listened to a friend. These are immature energies. These are messengers. So somebody got angry at an empress because of things that a friend was saying or friends were this is a betrayal rumors gossip judging someone who's independent someone is spreading lies gossip and rumors judging an empress who is very independent. What the hell? This person has been breadcrumbing. Someone's setting up boundaries. This is unity. What? Oh my God, this is the devil accusing someone of being a devil and they're not. This is what slowed someone down. They were thinking that this was the devil and they're not. And judging someone, so this could be someone who is spiritual. This could be someone who is spiritual and someone is jumped to conclusions oh they're the devil they're the devil they're the devil because they could be spiritual uh, they got to be the devil <laughs> no because they're a high priestess oh they're thinking that this high priestess is the devil 
they oh because they're a tarot card reader or spiritual that they gotta be worshiping the devil oh my god this is a king of wands who's looking at the high priestess and the empress as a devil judging them as a witch and they're they're not They're honest. They're telling the truth. They're a divine messenger. This king of wands is off the chain wrong here. Um, listening to other people. Judging someone of great value this could be family you know what i mean judging them don't trust them telling this person don't trust them they're the devil they're the, all those spiritual people you know they're all devils <laughs> but they're not they're an empress they're a high priestess of light they're not the devil so the person that they actually went to is the karmic and they left the real empress out in the cold abandoned them abandoned the connection but this is a person with a high position a high ranking um high priestess what the hell but somebody overheard, you know what I mean? Somebody poking their nose all up in somebody's business. That's the wheel. They turned her back on the wrong one. Look. Jealous now. That's why someone was jealous that this person loved the Empress. They're an angel warrior. This is someone divinely protected. This is someone who is high ranking. So somebody here crossed the line. They were out playing around. They were cheating on a, an empress. Left them out in the cold. They're spying on this high priestess. And they're seeing all the changes. This is the Wheel of Fortune. And now they're jealous. Now they're frustrated. Because someone who is jealous of the Empress made these stories up, went sticking their nose in the High Priestess's business, found out that they were spiritual, 
and rank to judge them. They have to be the devil. Anyone who is spiritual has to be work for the devil. No, this is a angel warriors. They could actually be an earth angel who is highly protected. People jumping to conclusions. That's what this is about. Someone poking their nose in where it doesn't belong. Oh, they're spiritual. They have to be the devil. No, they're not. <laughs> nope. They made the wrong judgment call. This person figured they could play a, a, a high priestess or an empress. So what somebody did to break them up was go spying maybe on their social media. Found out they were spiritual somehow. Believed in, you know, um, they betrayed the wrong person they betrayed someone who is a angel warrior did this person get a tarot card reading dummy spirit did this person get a tarot card how did this person find out that this empress was spiritual? How did they find out? How did they find out? How'd they find out that they were spiritual? this person find out that they were spiritual a tarot card reading ah someone else getting a tarot card reading got scared Mm-hmm. Couple of people. Started judging this high priestess. Someone paid to get a tarot card reading done. Found out that they were the high priestess. I, I told you, a healer. This is a divine messenger. This is a star seed. Started judging them. Maybe someone in the family. Found out that this was their twin flame or found out that this was their true love. This person broke their heart. Whoever this was who paid to get a tarot card reading done on this high priestess was told they're a spiritual warrior, was told they're, they're a healer. They use their gifts for good. They didn't like that information. It hurt them. Someone paid to get a tarot card reading done on this high priestess. Found out. It could be a family member who found out that they were a twin flame or that they were their destined um, partner. And they got, this hurt them. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Told the King of Wands. What the so it's it's other people it's other people it's this person's family they may have got a tarot card reading done or told this king of wands that this person was the devil and they're not they're a spiritual being they are a starseed or a healer of some type They could be on the internet or on a platform and told this person they had better block them or, or they had better they had accuse them. Told them not to trust them or they will regret it. Because maybe they're religious. And anybody who is... This person could be religious. This person could be spiritual. Told them if they committed to this high priestess that they would regret it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They're the Ten of Pentacles. If they had committed to this high priestess, they would have had growth, financial growth, like abundance, beyond abundance. Mm. But they didn't reveal that to the King of Wands, see? Eh? They kept that information to themselves. They didn't tell the King of Wands, that this person was their destined partner, that this is the person they would be happiest with and have all this abundance with. They didn't tell him that part. They just told him that this high priestess, um, you know, basically was the devil. And if they committed to them, that they would regret it. Oh, my God. Told them that they should seek adventure and find someone else. They betrayed him for their own self gain. Now they're hurt because they see somehow, maybe they went and saw for themselves this high priestess is a star seed, is chosen for the Ten of Pentacles. Now the King of Wands is hurt because they're looking at this High Priestess. That was their chosen partner. That was their destined partner. And they ended it with them and went towards someone else. This, this is a heavy burden. This person loved the high priestess but because of other people's judgments and because of other people uh, it embarrassed them they were embarrassed or you know what I mean that they were a high priestess when maybe they are religious that's a shame this person was just jealous and now they are jealous because they see the High Priestess is Ten of Pentacles, Star, Nine of Pentacles, and the Sun. And they love, they had feelings for this person. That's their karma. And they've changed their destiny. They have completely, they are the Wheel of Fortune. 
and this person cared for this this person other people getting involved and like a fool they went to an, a third party and committed to that person and now they're angry that they made that commitment because they chose the devil they committed to the devil the karmic They were lying. And that's why they're stressed out, frustrated. That's the emperor. Listening to other people, see? And they rejected their destined soulmate or their partner and made this decision to choose someone else. Instead of reflecting, instead of soul searching, Maybe they went searching themselves and saw that this high priestess is the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. They were manipulating. These people were haters. <sighs> Controlling and manipulating the situation. Mm hmm Yeah. judging and they left them out in the cold they abandoned them thinking I should have worked on this past connection I, I should have put the work in I should have put the effort in what was I thinking? Why did I listen? This, oh my God. Look, no doubt, the Empress. You cannot. Turned their back, looking for another option to commit to. Committed to a friend who was lying, who was spying on this connection the whole time. Telling them to walk away from this connection, to block them. And give an, uh, their offer to someone else. I cannot. It's trickery. This person was tricked into believing this spiritual pe person was the devil. I don't know, but in my experience, spiritual people, like real uh, spiritual people, they believe in God. You know what I mean? A lot of spiritual people that I know believe in God. They don't worship the devil for crying out loud. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, they got to be the devil. No, they got to be the devil. They're spiritual people. They use tarot cards. They, they're the devil. That is outdated thinking. I mean, it truly is. Like most spiritual people that I know who are into divination believe in God, worship God. Well, people got to stop doing that. That is such, that's bias. It's narrow-minded thinking. Especially when it's like this you know what gets me? This person is supposed to be an angel warrior themselves. They're denying their own gifts. They're supposed to be in this higher level connection, doing warrior work with the high priestess. But 
Yeah, well, maybe now they regret their judgment. You know what I mean? Because, quite honestly, this partner is also spiritual. They just don't want to be judged for it. You know what I mean? So they hide it. They have gifts the same as the, the Empress. They have spiritual gifts as well. This family are deceiving them to control them. The Empress was empowering this Emperor. This Empress was empowering this Emperor. And family didn't like it. what they neglected to mention. <laughs> well. That is on them. Because quite honestly, both these people are gifted. This person gets visions. In dreams. They could be prophetic. They could be um, a visionary. But the devil came in and sold them an illusion and they went for it. I'm sorry, but what a team that would make. So this person is spiritual. They could be a tarot card reader. That doesn't mean they don't believe in God. People got to get over that situation. Like, Spirit gives people those gifts. If they were evil, he wouldn't give them to them. They don't get them. You know what I mean? Everybody thinks if you're spiritual and you read tarot cards that you're the devil. And it's just simply not the truth. It, those are spiritual gifts. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What do you think the Holy Spirit is? I know everybody, every religion knows what the Holy Spirit is. I mean, those are gifts of healing. Uh, healing people with those gifts. Just, that is bias and that is judgment. And it's sad. It's really sad. It's tunnel vision. I suppose there are some tarot card readers that are not um, spiritual beings, but if they were doing that, they wouldn't have their gifts for long. If they were using them for inappropriate reasons, they wouldn't have those gifts for long. So, I don't understand. That's judgment, okay? That's what people do, judge. Judge someone who is chosen to make a difference in the world and they're doing that in spite of who says what they don't care they're going to do what they've been asked to do
They do it out of love. funny thing is this person claims to be religious but they're out there cheating and committing you know some kind of <laughs> I don't get it I think spirit judges us on our conduct. I think spirit judges us on our values and our morals. And I think this person was not so highly moral. I'm just saying. So the one doing the judging. Oh boy. Take care.